Hey, and welcome to a rather important footnote to uh, the last video about how to uh, create the effects with our complex macros. And I since discovered a big problem. So let me show you what I mean. In our macro, we uh, set the effect with the numbers that we found here for our positions. Let me just with a quick, ah, I'm so unprepared again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Or even better shown, especially here, those numbers. So as you see here in the effect form, it still has only 21.1, even though we went into a position preset type. The thing is, you see if the position would be 21.2 and I was tearing my hair out <laughs> to try to make this work. Because the same problem we have here with pan and tilt, which is quite easy to solve. We just uh, make a normal sinus wave and take out one of the both, pan or tilt. Though the big problem is the cycle. So this one <laughs> gives actually the biggest challenge since you really need the 19.2 in order for it to work. Otherwise, uh, let me just show you real quick how this looks like. We have the lamps here. If we turn this effect on now, so if you get this running, you see this is not a real circle. This is the opposite of that. To uh, just show you how exactly this should look like this 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 is more like a circle right I found a way to do this so we're gonna <laughs> redo a lot a lot a lot so yeah so what we're gonna start with is deleting everything <laughs> so first of all let's let's do the easy stuff <laughs> here we can just take a sinus wave so that's that's completely smooth and this is what we're gonna do here the first one is the position here I figured out actually the ah now I deleted them <laughs> as you see the blue position effect form is nothing else but the ramp plus. So <laughs> what we're actually gonna do, we use the flyout for the dimmer, since this is fortunately also the 21.1, which doesn't have a nice counterpart. And for the tilt, we just use a ramp plus, which is number 10. That will make things a bit easier. So here for the first one we're gonna use 10. Okay, and then this one we tackle last. This is gonna be the most difficult. So we're gonna delete a lot more stuff here. We need to add two more here for deleting. And this is for six and seven. So what we're gonna do is, if the effect is six, the first one is pan. I like to start with tilt, so we delete effect one point reset destination point one, which is the pan of this sinus wave. Then. If effect speed program point two, which is then tilt, so we only have pawn left in our line. Um, yeah, this this actually did already take care of most of the problem. Eh? That was much less than I thought. Okay, that's that's very nice. So now to this little critter. Since we can't use the point values, 
and we actually need to do the whole thing a bit a bit different <laughs> so and i just now realize we're gonna need to rewrite a few things so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to make effect is six as next step that means our effect this effect needs to be effect eight so this effect is our counter so let me just change and adjust everything you see all those effect numbers here need to be adjusted unfortunately let's do this Before we go on here now, let me just explain you real quick how this is going to work. So what we're gonna need to do is to select the group as always. You have to position, go to effect form, effect form 8 as a sinus and store this here. So far so good. So now we need to clear. The next step needs to be again group 1. Group 1. And what we want now is the cosinus to, uh, yeah, to get that the nice circle that we want. And we need to store this one in an extra effect slot. Then we need to clear. We need to delete the first step from the second effect. So delete effect 1.2.1. So we only have now here we only have the tilt cosinus left, and here we have pan tilt sinus. There's, there's unfortunately no way, at, at least I didn't found a way to change this form. It should be possible, like all the others, which we're gonna do in the next video, but it somehow isn't. If someone has an idea how to do it, I, I have no idea. I don't know. So what we need to do now is selecting group one, at effect two, and then store in effect one merge what we get now the tilt gets merged with the cosinus and this gives us exactly what we need a sinus palm and the cosinus tilt unfortunately this is really the only way and then after this we need to for sure delete the effect on which we are on so the whole thing can go on so this we need to somehow fit in here now <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun people so first of all the pan is gonna get the sinus and then as soon as effect hits 9 set well the effect ID is 9 for cosinus. So far so good. So now we have cosinus. Oh and now we need to be careful since we are also on a new preset destination on actually the same preset destination as we want this effect. To happen oh why nine six for sure okay so <laughs> we are on the same preset destination as we want this effect right now we uh, have several things to do let's try to think about everything yeah first of all we stored this preset so what we're gonna do now is uh, let's have everything in beautiful order so you are gonna need a few steps so <laughs> if effect is nine Delete effect one point preset destination point one. That's the pan wheel. Here. Uh, we cleared already out, so that's that's nice. <laughs> then effect is so effect is six. Oh no! What do we do? We uh, select our group. We didn't change it. We are also still in the right preset type, since we are still over four and not at ten. Yeah, exactly. Good. Just double checking. So, group, group ID. So, group ID at effect. Oh, now it's getting interesting. Preset type and preset destination. <sighs> so, at effect preset destination. So, now, now we have the tilt value in our programmer. What we do now, we want to basically. Oh, this is perfect. This is actually perfect <laughs> what we now gonna do we add var <laughs> this is so fucking genius at the preset destination is minus one 
Here you go. So that's we go back to the previous preset destination. And now we can store this. Which is also perfect, then we don't need to change anything here in this preset destination. So absolutely perfect. Here then we store effect preset destination merge. Woo! I think we did it. That's that should totally work. I need to shoot if it doesn't. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Try it out. Okay, that is good. Yeah. Beautiful. We have a pan sinus at the tilt cosinus. Nice. We have a pan sinus here. Oh wait. Oh I see what I did here. No problem. Let's just see that the rest is good. Here. Tilt, a ram plus and the dimmer. Nice! Paint balls, we have it! Ah, oh, beautiful. Except for for sure. That little malheur here, but this is fast time. Huh. Yep. Why, why should it? Why should it be working? <laughs> I did it again. Ah, for sure we need to delete also the value. So what, what we did here, we actually, oh, actually, you know what we can do? We totally forgot to delete this effect here. So basically when we came here to tilt, there was still one there, pan and tilt. But since tilt was step one in this line, we deleted it. We had just added pan and then deleted the tilt instead. So really interesting. That means we can actually uh, just change this here to two since pan is the also in the second version in the step two. So let's just delete this again and do this again and then everything should be just fine. And here we go. Yo. Beautiful. Turn to our circles. Here we have our tilt sinus. Oh, I love it when the plan works out. Not the first time, but it does actually work out. <laughs> so to double check that it really does. Minus two, plus two. And that looks pretty much like it. Beautiful. Yeah, that was it for the footnotes. I hope this didn't came too late. <laughs> uh, it was actually quite embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, I hope no one went into despair over this malheur that I had here. Let's see how this looks. Beautiful. Yeah, in the next video we're gonna then really tackle how to edit the names and how to edit all those values except for this little... Why? <laughs> maybe maybe we will do this sooner or later in any case thanks for watching and uh, see you next time ciao